The comptroller today is going after people who aren't paying their fair share. He listed the top 20 businesses and individuals not paid up in the state. Comptroller Peter Franchot released the list. There's a couple in Laurel who owe more than a million dollars in back taxes. A Bethesda company also owes just over that amount. Together, the top endeavors owe $13 million. So why is he naming names? Some may wonder why we do this. And there are two reasons. First, we want everyone to be aware of those individuals and businesses that are thumbing their noses, literally, at the state of Maryland by not paying their taxes and thereby cheating our communities out of critical funding necessary to support vital state initiatives. Our second reason for exposing these tax cheats is quite simple. It works. Since the program's initial inception in 2000, our agency has collected $31.5 million in outstanding tax liabilities. Now, once they come up with a payback plan, their name comes off that list.